During the 1920s, a parade of unknown blues, and jazz, and country western musicians found their way to the small Indiana town of Richmond, population 25,000. These fabulous musicians came here. This is what's left of the once great star piano factory complex. It was owned by the Jeanette family. They had stores all over the United States. In 1916, they decided to expand the operations to get into phonographs. In 1917, they opened their own record label, and Jeanette Records was suddenly a major presence in the recording industry. And in 1921, opened their second recording studio right here in Richmond, Indiana. It was situated right next to the Whitewater River, which you see in the background. It was an unusual setting for recording. It was a primitive studio where the recording sessions were often interrupted by the passing trains through the Star Valley that was rushing down to downtown Richmond. And it operated just as America was finding its musical voice, a voice defined in no small part by the very pioneers who recorded here. Musicians like Louis Armstrong, Jelly Roll Morton, Vic Spiderbeck, Gene Autry, Blind Lemon Jefferson, Hoagie Carmichael, and Scrapper Blackwell, whose music you hear in the background. What led these great musicians to record in Richmond, Indiana, as opposed to Chicago or New York City? Finding those answers led me to write this book, Jelly Roll Bix and Hoagie, the story of Jeanette Records, which was published by Indiana University Press in 1994. Now these several years later, we have now moved on and we've revised this edition with a new version of Jelly Roll Bix and Hoagie, Thank you to my friends at Indiana University Press. To talk about this book, though, we felt that it was more useful to come to Richmond, Indiana, where all this history unfolds. We're standing in front of the spectacular Jeanette Mansion. It was built during the turn of the century by Henry Jeanette, who founded the great Jeanette Records label. I'm standing in front of the old Pennsylvania Railroad Station in Richmond, and this is how these great musicians got to this town. Musicians like Louis Armstrong and King Oliver, and from this station, they could walk to the Jeanette Recording Studio. Sadly, the great Jeanette Records label closed during the height of the Great Depression. And 20 years later, Star Piano followed suit. And for several decades, the great Jeanette Records label was pretty much neglected in its own hometown of Richmond. But in the last 20 years, that has changed through the Star Jeanette Foundation, which has embraced the history, turned this whole area into a beautiful park, and created this wonderful walk of fame, which celebrates all the great artists for the Jeanette Records label. Jeanette Records is also celebrated in Richmond through its beautiful murals, like this one at Bix Beiderbeck. And this one at the Firehouse Barbecue of Blind Lemon Jefferson. And of course, the great Lonnie Johnson. And as they say, you heard it here first in Richmond. Pam Bliss painted Charlie Patton here, and Pam Bliss painted Charlie Patton here. What's the deal? You're probably thinking this is great history, but how is this relevant to me today? Well, the fact is that Jeanette records have never sounded better and have never been more accessible. Allow me to explain. When the records first came out, they were issued on 78s during the 1920s and 1930s. But by the 1950s and 60s and 70s, Jeanette records were showing up on LP compilations like this one by the Wolverines. Enter the 1980s, and any number of CD recordings featured Jeanette artists recorded here in Richmond, and that continues to this day. We're now in the internet age, and with the capability of just your cell phone, you can go out and order hundreds and hundreds of Jeanette recordings through iTunes and other sources, which makes this music a wonderful experience for people in the 21st century. It's my hope that this presentation will inspire you to want to search deeper into the history of Jeanette Records, but equally important, just enjoy the music. I'll be so glad when my train pulls up in town.